Okay, our problem today is we want to create 10 separate range names for these 10 cells in this range. The reason is we're going to install checkboxes above the cells to control the charging of a surcharge. And best practice is to have a, a range name on the cell that you're linking to the control, which is the checkbox in this case. So we want to create uh, 10 unique names. Now you could use the, the name box over in the top uh, left here to create them manually. That would take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is show you a technique to create the names really quickly. So I've just inserted a column. So control and the plus sign will insert a column. I'm going to call it CB, stands for that checkbox. Again, that's sort of best practice so you know what type of control uh, your link to. Now in Excel if you chuck a, a number on the end of some text uh, and when you copy it down I'm going to use the fill handle. I'm just going to double click the fill handle here to copy. Well, it won't actually copy, it will increment uh, when I copy it down. So there's a really quick way to create the names. They're the names we want to create. The range names themselves are going to be in column F but there is a technique it's called create from selection so it's in the, under the formulas tab create from selection, control shift F3 if you're a keyboard person. And what it does, it says create names from selection. So create names from values in the, and it's got the uh, the left column. So these are the names we want to create. Um, the cells that will actually be named that are on the right of those uh, actual cells that have the name. And that's why it's saying left column. So the left column holds the name. So when we click OK, each of these cells, as we can see over in this uh, the name box on the on the left hand side, has now been named with that with the the text value that we've entered on the in the left column there. So that left column is just a temporary one. We don't really need it because uh, I'm going to delete it now. So there we go. So now these are all named with the names that we want. Okay, I hope that uh, little tip has been helpful. Thank you.